Hello everyone, welcome back. So it's time for a new update. Um, honestly, I had a hard time deciding whether to film this video now or later. Um, mostly because there's still some, well, there's still work in the background. Um, and uh, very, very soon I'm going to have something more substantial <laughs> to share, uh, give, offer to you. Uh, and also because this past three months has been basically about two things. But I'm going to share them anyway, and I don't know how long this is going to be. Uh, so I'm going to go straight into the, this time. Um, to title it, I think rebuild, uh, rebuilding, it's very fitting because it's been a time of uh, focus. The focus has been on health, on you know, yeah, rebuilding, obviously, but in a more physical more uh, obvious um, way and I'm going to explain in a moment uh, how this is actually translated into my experience but before uh, that I am going to ask because I usually I start with the eating drinking pattern um, which is actually part of the health thing I'm going to ask those of you that actually haven't watched yet or maybe well but if you haven't watched again um it's called uh, an important question uh, the video an important question where i explain certain choices about eating not eating um, in regards to what i'm doing what i'm sharing what what the channel is about and things like that which i feel like it's necessary to watch that uh, especially if you just come here only because you saw the Bradarian videos and then you assume that this channel is just about that. Um, yeah, okay, that, that was it. Uh, so in regards to the eating, drinking pattern, um, it hasn't been that much change, but I haven't really extended the time period more than a day or a little over a day in dry mode. Time isn't like, uh, like an amount of time of dry mode that I would have at a certain point in time um, because of what was happening in the background <laughs> inside and um, these changes and transformation that ask of me to do other things as I was explaining in other videos. Um, so uh, there was a phase in the beginning of these three months period, I would say like a month or something like that, but from now on I think it will continue was I would call it again a water phase where I was asked to, to do that uh, more. I, I didn't feel like having anything else, although it's still very unpleasant to drink that much water, at least for me what that much water means, <laughs> uh, because it still has a weird taste, feeling, sensation when I do that. That never changes the same with eating other foods and things like that whenever that happens. Um, because now have been some, have been quite a few major shifts energetically and I have certain things in my system, well, some traumatic events that, yes, I've, I've been dealing with, uh, <laughs> with them for quite some time, actually all this time since I came back from depression and death and things like that, I actually spend it, um, in, as a, claiming myself but I did that like taking apart everything inside myself um, absolutely everything I never left I think anything unturned until now but I still continue to clean and and do this work um, whatever uh, arises in me whatever I, I feel that there is something that needs to be cleared uh, now it's less but yeah, I should say there's I would, these are more present matters that are smaller that have to do with these permanent adjustments that happen today. Uh, I mean, regarding to the, this cleaning work that I'm doing presently and until now has been for really deep, deep issues and deep layers. And um, 
those things um, sometimes need more energy uh, because uh, they are locked in into uh, actually it took a lot of energy for the body to actually basically hold it inside the system without damaging my my entire energy system so for that the there is need to <laughs> To have a lot of energy to actually to get through those certain things so that's why i said there's always like levels of cleaning and clearing uh, of the same thing that you might think of but i thought i cleared this and whatever and then you see that oh i still have to deal with this later yeah because certain things couldn't you couldn't actually reach them because you didn't have enough energy uh, to to go that deep so that's why there's always this we have to increase the the space inside ourselves uh, to have more energy so we can actually get rid of uh, the whole thing so for me this past year since i came back as i said has been a time of reclaiming myself by taking myself apart yes that's been rebuilt as well but now i would say that i actually enter in a real uh, this real phase of like rebuild physically of course there's a lot of <laughs> physiological changes transformation taking place for quite some time now yes but this is like it's different it's just it's another level and it's very very clear that this is what it's about i mean and um the dry mode this is another thing that i want to actually emphasize um i think i haven't said that or maybe i mentioned um for me, dry mode at this point is not about, as I said, eating or not eating. It's about creating space inside myself. Uh, and every time I do that, I, it's like the memory is like in a computer. Um, I create more the, the space, you have more memory where your consciousness can, can express itself and can express more of itself. Uh, and then you build this. The, the new awareness or the <laughs> the higher awareness can actually happen because without that space you cannot do that and also it's kind of like it's not just me doing that it's the changes as well so it's like it it goes both ways it's not just from me toward this changes but it's like it's a rest it's reciprocal uh reciprocal, yeah um the, this whole thing the process and um, it's quite daunting at times because I never expected as I said uh, I think a video two years ago to make such a huge jump uh, <laughs> in awareness and in yeah <laughs> in a lot of things and um, because of that even if I wish certain things will like stay the same, they don't. They just follow a certain progression of things. And at times I'm asked to <laughs> push forward uh, faster sometimes than I, I would like. And other things are, are held back. Um, and there's this back and forth that happens all the time because certain patterns need to be... Um, released and you cannot do that unless you actually you create that space so dry mode is also a way to create that space as there is stillness but if you do not have stillness then you can have dry mode if you have dry mode then you can have also <laughs> the stillness then you create even more space um and that's why for me i said this like at this point this is not about how many days in a row i stay dry anymore uh, because I'm in a in a, at a certain stage of the process where <laughs> I'm asked to do so many, like say, operations uh, in such a short amount of time that is like I'm asked. Like, in order to go forward, we need a lot of energy. It always has been about energy because there has been this huge loss of energy at some point. Well, many times happened that, but we're rebuilding this we're not fully healed that's why we cannot fully express uh, we're not fully how should i say breatharian or whatever and it's not even about that or because a lot of people make it about that it's not even about that it's about the the consciousness the awareness that has to express other other things other ways other ways of existing 
So that's what's happening inside me. That's why I insist on this thing. Um, and also, um, this process doesn't allow me, as I said, it's becoming increasingly harder to explain what's happening because it's so abstract. Uh, although for me, it makes sense. But if when I explain to you, it feels like I'm telling you, okay, line, triangles, circles, whatever, or a circle interacts with another, with a triangle, and they see a point, uh, as like a dot, sorry, <laughs> a dot, and they, um, I don't know, they sit on a equal sign, and then they look at the plus sign, whatever. But for me, those things make sense. <laughs> they mean actually something. But that's abstract um, for most people at this point in energy uh that's why it's just what can i tell you about these things so it's like i'm trying to uh, find uh, the most um, accommodating terminology uh <laughs> for you to actually get a little bit of like how it is to have your mind operating at a different level so this rebuild also meant that i actually it, it meant also like, like a health crisis which kind of like started like a month ago uh, when because of the book uh, well, this journey has been wow um, has basically taken me beyond everything that I could think of like oh this is normal this is whatever um, it broke a lot of limitation inside myself it forced me to break a lot of limitation inside myself and say oh you thought you, you cannot do this we break another one another one and on and um it pushed me over the edge and the over and over again as i like to show me it's like i think you you cannot do this I'm gonna do it again 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 and uh Yes, uh, a lot because of that, a lot of changes in my awareness has happened, and I am not the same person anymore. But also, my um, <clears throat> my health has been a little bit affected in the sense that my nerves have been affected uh, because of the the work, the stress, the a lot of things that have happened uh, throughout this time. Um, and I do need a rest, but I couldn't really rest because of the work. Uh, hopefully very soon I'll be able to do that uh, for a while. <laughs> and so it turned out um, this an upgrade into a crisis. Uh, it was quite bad. Uh, I'm not going to scare you with anything, uh, but it's like it was quite bad. And uh, I managed to rise above it. Um, and uh, I mean, I'm not sick or anything in this what people understand that but like nerve wise and it's like the stress can kill you if you do not actually um well take care of things it's not because i want to be stressed or whatever but the pressure of this process transformation also the work and whatever has been a lot a lot um and um through these through this crisis i actually I was forced to like you can you, you cannot leave your body behind you need the body but also I was forced to actually do something else which I haven't done all this time because since I came back I never had the same motivation as I had before before death well, before me dying and before the depression I I was a different person and uh when I came back I uh I basically kind of like, I don't know, just coasted along, if that's the uh, right expression. I just, I don't know, they just like, okay, fine, let's do this now. Let's do. It's not like somebody, um, I, I need somebody to tell me to do something to, I don't know, to motivate myself. I can do that, but uh, for me, naturally, I, I would feel that, that calling, I have to do this and that. Uh, that moves me naturally forward. I don't have to like force myself or feel like it's artificial. And since I came back, all of this has been in a way, it felt artificial. Um, I mean, <laughs> yes, things have changed and I have this awareness and all this transformation and all this, I mean, sources showing me all this stuff. And I know that everything leads somewhere. 
Um, but because of the brutality of the process, I don't think I've ever doubted myself as much as I did in this past years. As I, yeah, I don't think I ever done this in my life as I've done in these past years since I came back. Um, and um, that's why I said um, it's it's hard to explain to you because most of this process is is brutal and it's abstract and it has to do with these these things inside of you that you, where my patterns my my own limitations are being dissolved sorry and it's um, it's not easy or fun. Uh, and sometimes it's quite scary and uh, <laughs> and uh, sometimes it feels like I don't understand this doesn't make sense anymore and you just want to give up because but then again you cannot give up because you know you cannot give up anymore and body wise and health wise um, I kind of like yeah well I kind of like live or, or what this is what I felt like I'm living without a purpose since I came back. I feel like the purpose that I had before had disappeared and I've been just left to like okay, whatever, I'll find a way to move forward. So that's what I've been doing. Also, I had to deal with the fact that before death there was the desire of like not living anymore because that also didn't make sense. And uh, so I had to get rid of death inside me, well, entropy. And um, this came in, as in like visions and things that I, I was shown what and how certain things are. And uh, that like at this level of energy, I cannot just like pretend that like I'm moving forward uh, in certain regards, not because until now I pretended, but it's like I didn't realize that, oh, this too, really? Yes, these two really. Uh, so that's why I said it's like there's something you cannot fake. It's like to say that I'm moving forward. You just you have to do certain things for real. None of it can be faked. So that's why it was also very brutal and it was like, whoa, that's time to do this now. So it came as, a, as I said, as a health uh, crisis. Uh, <laughs> by the way, today I just had one of my chiropractor session. It's actually the second one. Yeah, it's great. A little bit of I didn't. I don't have big problems, but uh, because of certain events, traumatic events that happened a long, long time ago, um, certain things have been stuck. And I'm actually using also um, this treatment with light that actually infuses energy into certain points that have been like stuck and compacted and. Yeah, so right now I'm using all the help that I can get to get rid of the things that until now I couldn't get rid of. Although until now, I've used all my energy to <laughs> to take myself apart, to see what's inside me and why here, there, whatever, everything. And to do all this transformation. That's why I, at some point I felt like, as I said, but I've done all this work and it feels like nothing. And then there is all the transformation. It feels like... <sighs> don't understand uh, this is this is just brutal um, and then when it stops you feel the difference and you feel oh I'm not the same person anymore so yeah it's just it's brutal it's not easy and it's not always fun uh, so um, that's why I had to I, I could not ignore this anymore and yeah it was a time of like getting rid of death inside myself or that thing that was still like the residual of that that thing, and um, another the, the other oh sorry um, in regards to the eating drinking pattern, which I actually something that I said earlier, um, I want to like my advice to everyone who wants to do the process from now on. Um, whatever you are, I mean in life right now, the stage that you are is like whether you are eating normally, like normal diet, you're vegetarian, vegan, whatever. Enjoy those stages where you are. Don't put too much judgment um, like that person is good or bad, whatever. Do it because it's, this is how I did. For me, it was like upgrading myself because it was about health. First of all, I didn't care about anything else besides health. I just wanted to be healthy 
live long <laughs> although at some point i didn't want to live at all anymore that's a different story um but that was about it i didn't make it about anything else health was more important and if i would be healthy then i would find a way to actually do other things as well uh, on the spiritual path or freedom path to freedom so that was the most important thing health uh, so don't put too much judgment, whatever you are, because already when, after you've done the Brotherian process, and as I said, done with the right intention, you are in no man's land. And um, right now it's a time of transition where things are not uh, fully working as they should, so that's why there is this game. I mean, of course, the drive, I could, I could stay at a certain level and that will be okay, but what I must to do is move beyond just keeping my system uh, working at a certain level of energy because even this will is, is changing, but it has a different rate. And I cannot stay at that rate because I'm asked to do certain things faster. And doing that, I need more, more energy than what's available by just doing that. However, being on dry mode, it's a great, as I said, it's a great tool to increase the space inside yourself. This is what it is for me. Dry mode is increasing space inside myself. And a lot of wonderful things happen because of, because of that. And I'm shown a lot of things. Also for me, <laughs> life, nothing is anymore. It's like, oh, this is spiritual, this is not spiritual. No, I see everything for what it is. And I know that it is, all of it is spiritual. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. And I understand it for what it is from a higher perspective. Uh, it's like, and now I'm going into part part two of this uh, three months period. It's like what has been about is being out, about outgrowing all the patterns in my life, which I've mentioned also, I think, in previous update updates. Um, and it, this continues. Um, and this actually happens, as I said before, um, by doing this back and forth thing it, with a lot of things patterns in my life and um, as this as I outgrown a lot of things uh, on one hand if life feels much easier and more magical but then again much harder to do uh, <laughs> because um, you see it's not just like oh life doesn't make sense it really it's, it's a different level I always emphasize this it's a different level experiential not intellectual experiential level where you see the absurdity and limitation of certain things and day-to-day -day life it's very very limited um, the way we experience it right now well, most people experience it right now and um, because of that it's just it makes it for me also harder to <laughs> to live it uh, sometime I mean thank god that well I have my own world <laughs> so to speak to um, to exist and to do the things that I do otherwise would be really uh, I would feel completely choked um, so the other part is about outgrowing uh, really really fast all these patterns but also I'm asked how to break them as in like uh, <laughs> how to change certain things and make it easier for others as well um, which is not really easy in the end because um, as long as you do not create that space inside yourself, you cannot understand what I'm saying. It's just sound something like blah, 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 abstract. Um, so yeah, outgrowing, rebuilding, I mean, the health crisis, um, this is what's been going on. And um, it's, it's quite a lot. But also, I want to mention that in terms of um, this reality that the having the space and um having my my magic every day um this has helped me a lot uh <laughs> because um right now i'm doing morning walks a lot because of what's happened to me lately and um when i'm when i'm doing those things i um i'm in that space where no one and <laughs> nothing can touch me or reach me anymore and I'm living I live more in that other reality and um, this gives me 
hope and it's like it recharges my batteries every day uh, because then I have to return to like oh, okay I have to do this now so those things also can be pushed forward and uh, unblock certain things for other people for other things as well because it's not just about me anymore and um, yeah that's also really magical because the more these changes happen although they're not always fun or easy the other reality is opening itself as well yeah uh, there's other dreams and things that are happening but i i don't want to go into those things right now because i think that right now that's the most relevant uh for this time and as i said really really soon i have something more substantial for you so stay tuned for that as well uh yeah i think that was it i hope this was helpful um yeah see you next time ciao it's not about this or that it's about as i said moving in the middle